this month, Lonnie, I'm so jealous, <laughs> had the chance to interview the godmother of country music, Miss Dolly Parton. Oh, yeah. I love her so much. No. Oh, I was so jealous. Lonnie was texting her up and everything. I so wish I could have been there, so let's check it out. All right. Can't wait. We are here with the iconic legend, Miss Dolly Parton. Thank you so much. You look beautiful well, as thank always. You. I dressed up for you. I see. <laughs> you know, my co host couldn't be here today, but they left you a video message that they wanted me to play for you. Okay. Here you go. Hi, Dolly. Thanks so much. I love you in 95. You're an amazing actress. I have been obsessed with you since I was a little girl. Steel Magnolias is my favorite movie ever. You as True B changed my life. My mom and I grew up watching you, singing your songs. Love you so much, Dolly. We love you, Dolly. We love you. Well, well thanks, gals. Now, Appreciate this, it. This little one, Adrian, she's about to get married. Oh. So you've been married over 50 years. Can you give her any advice? Yeah, stay gone as much as you can. <laughs> I've been married 50 years. I've been home about 45 of those. So it works perfect. I love it. So actually, you need to have respect and love for each other. You need to be good friends, too. That's right. You know, I always wanted to ask you this. Do you ever feel pressure about being beautiful? Well, thank you for that. I was not a natural beauty. That's one of the reasons I have to do whatever I can. So mm -hmm. if my hair don't do what I want it to do, I'll wear a wig. That's right. And if, you know, if, if I ain't as tall as I need to be, I'll wear high heels. So <laughs> I try to be as pretty as I can be. But mine's not real. But my heart is. <laughs> and that's I think it's real. If your body value is real. It's mine now. Yeah. That's what I do for me. I know. Okay. Just, you know. And you look good to me, too. Thank you. I appreciate we that. We do what we can. How long does it take for you to get ready in the morning? Well, it depends. I wear a lot of wigs. Okay. And so I can do my makeup really fast. If somebody says, you got to be out of here in 30 minutes, I'll be out of there in 30 minutes. Because, see, my co-host, it takes them like two and a half oh, hours. Oh, I couldn't. I don't got to have that kind of time. Thank you. I could have a hip record for, you know, that Thank kind of you. time. <laughs> Dolly, can you finish this question for me? I would never leave the house without my... My makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and hair. That's it. And, and hair. hair done. What's your go-to beauty product? Well, everything. Definitely got to have the lipstick and eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what time do you get up in the morning? Because I heard it's really early. I'm usually always up by 3 a.m. Because I get up and do my spiritual work, my creative work, and I love that. That's, I call that my God time. Now, the one thing I wanted to say is that, you know, when we heard I Will Always Love You, and I'm talking about us, the urban community, it was through Whitney Houston. Yeah. But then when we found out you wrote the song, we're like, Dolly Parton, that made you just become like, into our family. Oh, and I'm glad. I'm so glad. Because a lot of people do say, well, that's Whitney's song. I said, I don't mind her having the credit as long as I get my cash. <laughs> right. <laughs> you listen to other genres of music like hip hop? I do. I listen to everything because I love music. Would you do a duet with Snoop Dogg? Because I would love that. He's the icon of <laughs> hip hop and you're icon well, of country Well, my husband pop. loves him, by the way. Really? So it's possible. <laughs> You hear that, Snoop? We got this coming, a duet, you and Dolly Parton. But my husband likes him as a person. My, my husband just relates to him somehow. He thinks he's the coolest guy. I love it. Okay. Would you do me the honor of showing me your outfits? Because I just want to see them. I'm so oh, excited. Lord, this is just a few of them. Some of these have a little bit of a history. Oh, okay. This is a coat of many colors dress. Oh. And this is the dress that I wore before we ever did the first. How do you look so little? You know what? I used to be tall till I started wearing all this. It's just <laughs> wore me down. But anyway, this I wore at, at the NBC showing in New York when I was trying to present the coat of many colors. Oh, now that one God. is heavy. Oh, my God. Yes, this I is. wore, I, I sang with Katy Perry on the ACM awards oh. last year. You yeah, you make a plus Look size. at her. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in 50 years, how would you want the world to remember you? Well, I want them to say, dang, don't she look good for her age? <laughs> what do you want them to say about you? Now, seriously, though, I want them to say that I was a giving, caring person. Being successful, I think, has a lot more to do with things than just money and fame. It has to do with you've enjoyed it, how you did it, and how you've touched other people with it. So I'd like them to say I was a true success. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. You did good. Thank you. I did good. She said I did good. You got you that. Did. You got that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Lonnie. Amazing. Oh. You did such
such a great interview. Oh, you, thank you. Oh, you She's a class so act. I tell you, I had the best time with Miss Pardon. She's so, and we have more to come okay. because she's doing um, a Christmas movie on NBC. So we're going to show that um, in, you know, coming up. But it was just thank you so much for her yes. hospitality. <laughs> it was great. She, her spirit. Yeah. Like, yeah. You Amazing. watch her talk, and you're like, God, I. I Pray that I have that impact and that you just want to be like that kind of person. Yeah. Yep. You can oh, feel her warmth awesome. just yes. coming she's through the TV. I'm being so real. If you get a chance, you guys look up her concert tickets. You will be blessed beyond because her presence and her storytelling takes you through a journey that is unforgettable. You just went. Yes, yeah. it was awesome. Uh, it was time. my best concert I've ever been to in my life. Yeah. Thank you so much to the one and only Dolly Parton. We'll have even more with Dolly around the holidays. So be on the lookout for that.